All right, well, the jump park's finally all opened up. They don't have chains across any of the uh, openings to the lines anymore. I'm here much later than usual because I was spending the morning installing this guy. Got God Mod going on now. And this last jump right here in the asphalt part of the pump track. I guess the whole pump track's asphalt. So anyway, this last asphalt jump. Um, I was here yesterday and basically more than half of the time that I hit that one I'm like torquing it too hard and it wants to you know give me the rubber band pedals so I'm gonna see if I can go just as hard today and not get any bendy pedals now that we got the god mod installed I held off on updating the firmware just so I can get a uh, more direct comparison i want to update the firmware and install the god mod and then not know which one helped more i'm gonna want to lock that i'm a little cold right now i'm gonna have to warm up for sure first all right Maybe go do some of the uh, beginner line. And then we will try out the uh, asphalt and see if I can get rid of that bendy pedal. <laughs> what the? <laughs> the weird part is, it looks like the hardest part for them is starting. Like once they're going, I you swear, it, it looks jump? like momentum's got them. But yeah, the speed it makes it more stable. Yeah. yeah. I heard about starting that. the guy like. Oh, <laughs> to get him, dude. Are you on his jumps? Oh yeah. How is the the middle one? There's no mud or anything. No. Sweet. Yeah. Do you have to yeah. pedal? No, you just lean yeah. forward. It wants to always stay standing up straight. So when you try to push it over, it just like catches you kind of, you know? No, he's badass. They had like three of these out here yesterday. Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up? Yeah, that was out here. He knows how to ride these things. Yeah, I saw him the other day. me three tries. Jump this line? No. Just to get on that hook. Yeah. 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 Uh, I was in Australia. <laughs> like the hardest part on this. I was in Australia and a guy had one of these. I go, what the? What are you thinking? He says, I got a DUI to get my license. I can drive that. They just have a pump trip. Yeah, these are all like going to be your top. Yeah, I'll, I want to warm up a little bit. I'm like kind of yeah, cold. Up. Take your time. Don't let these guys push you. I'll do this one and then I'll do the pump track. Unless the pump track's clear. The pump track is blown down. It's all it's all dust free. Shit. Don't want them to run nobody over. Watch out, buddy. Trace me. This guy's gonna ride the oh, I'll wait my turn it's though. It's like all a, good. It's called a unicycle, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Powered unicycle. Electric unicycle. <laughs> the one wheeler. Well one wheel's uh, that trademark has been taken. <laughs> Who identifies as a one wheeler? <laughs> one that goes this way. Oh, yeah. it's like a board with a go kart tire. That's a one wheeler. Yeah, it's uh. a brand name. It's a brand name. It's oh, like Crescent Wrench. Crescent Wrench is a brand name. It's actually an adjustable wrench, but everybody calls it the Crescent Wrench. Drop. They were the first inventors of it.
Right back on, So yeah, it didn't feel like I was getting bendy pedals or anything. Yeah, feeling good. I need to get into the pump track more. Cause uh need to warm up a little bit before I can really feel good on those uh steeper asphalt ones. And uh yeah, when I'm really cranking on it for that last one, that's when I uh, get the rubber bandy pedals. <laughs> How did they Yeah, yeah. How did making them all they stay? Um, well the pedals are like really spiky and they're kind of tilted to kind of favor leaning you into the wheel more. And then it's like raised here. So it's almost like a skateboard, like a bowl concave. Like the pocket and your foot just gets in there. And then there's also these, yeah. Yeah, this will keep your foot so you can pull up on the wheel. Um, I haven't done the ones on the very right yet. I've done the middle. I can do the middle and then the beginner. I haven't tried the begin or the middle in a while because it's been so muddy. I think that was just me leaning it in the air. We get a couple more runs at it. Should be able to get the whole line. Drop. Okay. Yeah, we'll oh. All right, so these up a little more. Ah, case. To Felt more comfortable on my Kai pads for sure, but I want to figure out these Grizzlies. I'm gonna do my normal warm ups. Usually I don't just hit the intermediate line. Let me do a GoPro check real quick. I think I'm just not going as fast as I usually would. That's because I didn't really warm up. <laughs> Get a good one here. Okay, that was good. I want to do. I need to clear that uh, intermediate line. At least I have that shit dialed. Right, let's get some speed. big case yeah maybe it's easier to get more speed when it's uh, drier we'll go hit this one for fun anyway maybe I should go back to the uh, pump track and test these pedal bendies it also could just be because I'm not used to these flow pads yet oh that was deep that was god mod saving my ass I went fucking hard on the accelerator. Holy shit. 
I have not gotten that much air before on that wood. Where did I land? Oh my gosh. I think that's me right here. Bam. That was fucking deep. Holy shit. I was like talking and not really gunning it, so I just decided to throw tons of torque into the launch ramp and fuck. I got bendy pedals, but it felt good. And it it was really chill. I don't know. I've I've had to like um, crash usually if I go that deep. <laughs> Drop. Rip it dude. <laughs> Try it! <laughs> Nice. I'm definitely getting bendy pedals, but uh, I don't know, I always did before. I think it's a lot of uh, my technique, and I haven't been able to ride these the bigger set in a while, because uh, as you can see, it's all muddy. It's been a lot worse until today. But uh, yeah, this is the first day that they finally dropped all the chains that block the entrances, and we can go at it. Yeah, uh, nobody doing this one. Do some shifties real quick. Well, it's fun to hit the jumps that you feel really comfortable on so you can play. Some big ol' uh, I gotta practice that one more, the shifty with the pedal grab. <laughs> it's weird sometimes when you like start to make the wheel move around it tilts forward or backwards and starts spinning up yeah you gotta like be sure your feet are super level and then you can you still can play with it but i want to try it the way i have everything set up right now i'm pretty locked in you, oh, yeah, the front quicker. One. There's some that have a handle right here, which yeah. would make it a lot easier. Yeah, like a rodeo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dude, dude there's this, handle. there's this 11 year old girl that does like all kinds of stuff. She's done like nothings. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, I mean, with the gyro. Yes. Yeah, the wheel, upright. the wheel does stay like even in the air, not touching anything. It'll try to stay level. Yeah, I'm sure you've seen that a couple times. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, my buddy was learning that on that one in the back and. At the end of the day, he was like, all right, last one. And he just went faster than ever and just woo, straight up. <laughs> he jumped off the wheel in the air and he was just just standing in the air so high up. It looked so funny. That's the shot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he was. He was penciled, he the, the penciled for a second, just getting ready to impact. Stoked to have the middle line again. I'm barely clearing them, but I'm not casing it. I don't feel that little knuckle bump. I feel like it's real smooth. The thing is, that same jump you've been doing. That's batteries. All this on the side is all batteries, like stacked on top of each other. Yeah, I'm literally saying.
Didn't know she wasn't gonna move. All right, there's too many little kids here. <laughs> They're so unpredictable. Yeah, pedals feel stronger for sure. I definitely had to go into that one slow, so uh, for sure stronger. I'm gonna let the kids have fun. All right, we'll just pump this one again. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I didn't pump it hard enough. All right, we'll just play around in the dirt. Unless I see a good... This next lap is good. Nope, lap's terrible. And yeah, we're gonna get out of here. <laughs> I'm working on it. It's only rear suspension. <laughs> Suspension, one's legs and the other one's a shock. That's right. The other one's my spine compressing. Yeah, you're, you're compressing your spine? Yeah. <laughs> I used to have the one without a shock. That was rough. losing my speed and just torquing up everything. I feel like I just gotta like either learn these pads or go back to the kite pads. <laughs> but it, I'm like not even worried about torquing it up shit now though. I just need to stop thinking so much and just do it. <laughs> I'm way too in my head about everything right now. New Grizzle Flow pads, new God Mod. I just need to let my body do things instead of my mind. There we go. A little bit of speed, a lot of speed. A lot of speed. Okay, too much speed. Now, the little, little, like, pumps that they have at the end of those first two are just throwing me off right now. works better if I fucking torque the shit out of it up those jumps. <laughs> really even if I run at it with speed sometimes just like me laying off the speed I accidentally put on the brakes or something and end up casing it. scary. That was big old rubber band effect. Oh, it's fucking muddy. Huh. Well, that's interesting. I think I might be getting a little too comfortable and just gunning the shit out of it on the way up these jumps and overpowering it, even with the god mod. Because that was a deep pedal dip on that last run. On a, I can't remember which jump, I think it was a, the one before the berm. Where I felt my wheel go to like 45 degrees forward real quick. It did snap back though. And uh, 
I don't know if that was just because I was in the air or uh, no, it probably would have snapped back on the ramp. I don't think the air would have wouldn't have anything to grab onto. The driver was not that strong. But um, I mean, yeah, it's working for being able to do it. I don't know what I'm gonna have to do to feel comfortable hitting that uh, advanced line. Cause I wanna be able to just fucking manhandle the shit out of these ramps and just torque hard all the way up them before I hit that advanced line. So maybe it's a, uh, maybe I gotta try like, I don't know. I think more practice, drier dirt. The dirt's definitely slowing me down. Once that gets all hard packed, we're gonna be going a lot faster. Um, I think that could just be most of why I'm um, feeling a little weird today. But Jesus, when I made that, when I fucking got tons of air earlier and landed right fucking here, that's sick. I had to be fucking way up there too. That was good. And these things just fucking plop you like so high up and then just drop you straight down. I'm gonna have some fun on the beginner line for a second. So much mud in my like wheel well. It's just flying everywhere right now. 